Hey y'all, it's me, Really Raven, and I'm back with a voiceover video for you all, showing you medium sized box braids with the rubber band method. Here I show you my daughter who requested this with like a bohemian look she wanted. So I've already pre-started uh, sectioning the hair off in the rubber bands. And so, yeah, I'm showing you what I've done. It's about three, four layers. And this is what she requested. Her hair was already pretty silky from a silk press she had previously that lasted for like three weeks. But I um, re-moisturized her hair. I put in some oil, a little oil, and I used some edge control mixed with beeswax to help uh, define her parts to make sure that her sections were um, together. Now, hi, <laughs> it's me again. Yes, now I'm just showing you, uh, I took a break from her hair so I can finish um, defining her ends because you don't want that blunt look that's something you don't want so you want to pull those strands of hair so that you can have a like a more natural look to the ends of the hair so I'm just doing something really quick on the ends like late and I'm very focused that's why I got that funny looking lip Yeah, you don't want it to look crazy and blunt and stop and be so thick and the ends be all choppy looking. So you have to define those parts. Um, a little side note, I am still freshly new to this. So if you guys have any opinions, suggestions, comments, please do so in the comment section below because I would love to communicate with you all. If you have any uh, tips, tricks, or um, anything, suggestions, let me know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like it, and um, yeah. So enjoy as I continue to make this crazy looking face and take the ends of the hair. Now you just want to grip it tightly with the other hand so that you don't mess up the hair at the bottom. And you're gonna repeat the other side as well. And yeah, that's about it. I'll let this continue. Yo, the faces that I'm making in this video is crazy. I did not know I'd be looking like this. Okay, anywho, I'm at the point where now I've done all the stretching I could on my one side, which actually stretches out the opposite side when you do it that way. So that's just a little trick method I use to stretch the hair out so you won't have that uh, blunt cut look for on the ends and the braids won't be all bulky and stop short in the end um, at the tip. So now I'm at the point where I'm back to my daughter's hair. I'm at the top of her head. 
and I just want to show you how I section each section, which I actually went back and made that part smaller because at first she initially wanted it bigger, but I changed it to smaller because you saw how big it was. So yeah, I um, am actually parting, and the trick to my party is to always make sure you're lining it up with the part which is uh, underneath you. But the top part, I did not do it like that. I did it straight across. She don't like the camera. Yeah, I did it straight across so that it can look even, I guess. But I, I actually went back and um, resectioned that anyway. So, I mean, it, it doesn't look like it's not full or anything like that. It looks like how she wanted it, how she requested it. But uh, she just didn't like the first two because they came out a little um, bulky at the top. So I went back and made two extra parts, which would have been, it was three parts on each side initially. So I made it four parts, if you can understand what I'm saying. But yes, this is me just showing you how I did it. You don't want to pull the rubber band too tight. It looks like I'm doing it tight, but that's just because she has that little slick hair. I'm just trying to make sure that rubber band don't slide off uh, after using, you know, the oils and everything in her hair. And I didn't use a lot of oil. Just use some enough to moisturize because you don't want to have dry hair. And that'll make your um, client person, anybody who you're doing hair, uh, that'll make it come out, uh, uh, too dry and it will become itchy and irritate the skin. So, yeah, I'm, I'm using it to define her parts, make sure that, you know, especially the edges, you want to make sure you do all your swoops there and slick it up. Oh, the camera cat so dark right there. Yeah, you want to slick it up. And then you put your rubber band on there. Lighting is so horrible. I apologize, y'all. I'm standing in front of the light. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually applying the rubber band. I'm actually applying the rubber band, and now.
So I have already finished moisturizing the hair and now I've restarted the back of her braids and I used the tuck method. Um, she always has a color in the tips of her hair so I had to do a little tuck method to try to tuck in that blonde color into the black. So yes, now she is halfway done and I'm just showing you how far I have come with those braids. Okay guys, we have made it towards the end of the video. I have already completed.